pointed our cameras on something like what you're about to see tonight, an incredible project by Parks Canada, a team of people going all out to protect a species while they still can. Only Daily Planet followed a herd of 30 wood bison from their home in Alberta all the way to the frozen forests of Siberia. And you're going to come along for the ride. Ready? Here they come. We got one that turned back. Hold up. Ten wild bison are running full speed through a maze of fences and gates. Oh, one left in the pen. Go in to keep your gate open. We have one left in pen A. But the people chasing them are not hunters. Last one. They're trying to save them by shipping them to Siberia. Good. Well, well, two more. Yeah. It's What's fun, smooth? Yeah. Archie Handel and his team at Elk Island National Park have a busy day ahead of them. They're loading 30 bison calves into trailers for a trip to Russia. We have them in, in Canada, but it's nice to have them in another area. Wood bison are the largest land animals in North America, 20% bigger than their cousins, the Plains bison. They're also extremely rare. In the world right now, there's uh, about 11,000 animals. At this point, they're considered threatened, and we'll see what happens as, as things go forward. It's an effort to establish what's called an outpopulation in a region where bison went extinct thousands of years ago. We're at this place now where the population is starting to recover, but we're still inherently vulnerable to calamity. And so by creating another population in Russia, it's like an insurance policy. It's a backup in case something untoward happened. We still have wood bison because we can't risk losing them. It means taking some risk, but we manage it very well and we take the risk knowing it's the right thing to do because we need to recover these guys. It's important. The trip will be a long and winding one. Once they're loaded into the trailers, they'll make the one hour drive to Edmonton International Airport. There, they'll board a Russian transport plane for the 10 hour flight over the Arctic to Yakutsk, a small city in the northeast corner of Russia. From there, it's a four hour drive on bumpy roads and across a frozen river to Lensky Stolby National Nature Park. Do we need a load permit out of the But first, the there's paperwork to do. We got a little bit of an emergency situation. We were supposed to be at the airport today to offload the trailers. And this morning, I got a phone call from Yakutsk. Uh, people there told me that customs declarations were not ready. It's bringing the trailers in is the, the issue. Uh, we don't have any other backup uh, for, for the how to transport these bison. We cannot put them in passenger seats and, and bring them to Russia. So right now, the operation is on hold, waiting for permits. I just spoke with Yakutsk about an hour ago. They told me that they should be ready to fly on Thursday. It's a 48-hour delay, but the project is still alive. In the meantime, Archie checks on his babies. Elk Island National Park is like a nursery for wood bison try to keep hands off the animal. We don't want to domesticate them. The 300-member herd here is genetically diverse and disease-free. These animals are tested for brucellosis, tuberculosis, bovine leukosis. Once they're inoculated, the chosen ones are kept in quarantine. But Archie doesn't want them penned up any longer than they have to be. If we keep poison too long and those, you know, some of them seem to drop off sometimes. They've never been handled, now they're being handled in a pan, being fed. They're not used to that. The calves being sent are all one year old. Right here is 10 females and second pen's another 10 females and then there's 10 bulls. For conservation projects, they'd like to have more females than males because uh, one male will do the job of, uh, you know, a few females. So just, uh, yeah, how it is. Finally, the Russian plane arrives. It's gonna happen. We're still going. But there's little time to celebrate. There is a lot of work to do. And we're gonna offload the empty trailers and take them back to the park. These trailers are Canadian built, but they've been in Russia since 2006, when they carried 30 bison there as part of the pilot project. We're looking for dirt or manure. Uh, uh, insects, and just make sure it's all nice and clean. Everything's good. 
the plane has also brought a special passenger. Hello. Hello. I'm my name is Simeon. Simeon Archie. Uh -huh. uh -huh. His name is uh, Simeon Yegorov. And uh, he is the father and the mother for the bison bear. In Siberia, Simeon looks after the first batch of Canadian bison. He's raised them from calves to maturity. Today, he's meeting the next generation. Meanwhile, in the shop, the trailers are getting the once over. They look excellent, actually. They, they're really taking care of it. They need new holes for ventilation and a quick check of the tires. As we're going to seal the bottom corners because it's a wooden bottom trailer and we don't want no fluids from the animals going into the plane to disrupt the plane. Straight back! Straight back! On a cold gray morning, the long journey begins. Right now we're just getting uh, the trailers ready, backed up, and we're going to start pushing individual pens to get the tags and load the animals. Five six is by uh, pen A gate. Just tell me when to open it. You can open it. No, 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 no. Hey, hey, there you go. Yeah, they're hey, all coming, hey, all hey, 10. Guys. One, zero, nine, one. The tag numbers are checked to make sure the right animals go into the right trailers. Nine five. Nine five. nine, five, right here. Okay, go. Awesome. Awesome. Good feeling. We're on our journey now. And oh, what a long, strange trip it's going to be. That's once in a lifetime for sure. You're here with Wood Bison taking them to uh, a remote area in northern East Russia. It's awesome. Tomorrow, part two of our epic bison journey continues. Over 9,000 kilos of bison have taken to the air headed for their new home in Siberia. Don't miss this extreme flight tomorrow on Daily Planet.